Hey everybody, it's Mike, and I uh, haven't made a video in a long time, and I apologize. I get uh, pretty much daily people subscribing now. I think I've almost got 200 subscribers, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I've got uh, a lot of hits on the videos, so obviously people are interested in uh, art and carving and hobbies and all that. So I just wanted to go ahead and make another video. Uh, this is going to be a short one, just to show you what I've been doing lately, and... I'm going to start posting some more videos on carving, relief carving, and different materials uh, to carve on. And also some other objects that I've made recently that may be fun for you and for the kids. So uh, I'll tell you on a recap, uh, the cow bone is what I have been carving in and started carving in originally. Uh, and I got it from Petco. It's the bone that you can buy there for the dogs. It's clean. It's hollow. I don't get the stuff that was put inside of it because it stains the bone. So don't do that. This was only $3.29. And uh, this is one I finished recently. This is another one that I did. It's got orchids and a hummingbird that hooks around. And then what I did on the ends is I added some uh, maple after I flushed out the ends with the sander so it's nice and tight. And then also ground that down, sanded it down, and put a coat of deft on it. The bone I actually soaked in coffee to give it that nice uh, tan color. And then uh, I think there's a coat of clear over the top of this bone also. Because it, you'll find that with people touching it in hands, it gets dirty, hard to clean. And then I added a magnet in the bottom because it's real fragile. So the base that it sits on also has a magnet. Uh, so in case somebody hits it, it won't fall off. I don't want to have this one break. The other one I made that you guys may have seen, the other the other uh, carving with the hummingbird, uh, that one fell and broke into a bunch of pieces. So uh, kind of a bummer. Um, so that's that. And then what I've got recently is a elk leg bone. I got it online and I uh, wanted to try something new. The deer leg bones are a lot smaller and I made whistles out of those. I was going to make a whistle out of this, but uh, I ended up carving out this edge and turn it into a back scratcher. So, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some animals, probably a couple lions and or uh, you know, like safari animals, African safari out on the plains or something on here. I had another one because I got two in the mail. This one I actually took this piece out, notched it down and around with a bandsaw, and then drilled it out. I took a chunk of walnut on the lathe and turned a wheel. So this will be your back massager. So uh, something different. And then what I did is I drew birds on one side for a design. And uh, <clears throat> it's just a bird that flies over and then ends up, it's another hummingbird, ends up on this side uh, hitting a flower. And then on the other side, since it's just animals, this one has an elk and a mountain scene and a cow. So, something uh, you can do again, I mean, I wasn't sure, didn't want to waste time with another whistle, and I thought a back massager where I could at least keep it in the family or pass it on or give it to somebody, it's just different. Um, but obviously you can tell that this is nice and kind of symmetrical, almost like it would be a knife handle. Great for cutting out and using as a knife handle, so if you did some relief carving with an elk leg bone, you could probably get at least two knives out of this. You know, one knife you know, two sides of the handles on each side and then also this other side. So a nice uh, nice material I found is this uh, elk leg bone. Um, another item that I'm going to start carving on is this ram horn. Uh, I'm going to try something new. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be relief carving or if it's going to be some type of a sculpture, but uh, usually i got to stare at something for a few weeks before I figure out actually what I want to do with it. So. Anyway, uh, the other thing is I, I'm still using the Dremel 4000 to remove a lot of material with the larger bits. that would be these bits. And uh, then after I usually remove the larger material, I have this high-speed carver now. And it's a Shofu carver. Speeds are 350,000 RPMs. And I have several, several bits that I use like these dental bits. Uh, great for doing detail work. 
and I ended up going to my dentist and which what you should do rather than if you have one of those if you have one you probably have already figured this out but uh, if you don't you're gonna get one don't spend a lot of money on the dental bits go to your dentist hopefully you go to a dentist and ask him for the uh, to save you the bits so I go there and I went there last week and they gave me all these bits so uh, what they think is dull, which I appreciate since they, if they work on my teeth, uh, they get rid of. However, what they think is dull is perfectly sharp enough for us to be doing uh, relief carving in wood and in bone. So, anyway, uh, you guys have any comments, please post them. Uh, if you have anything that you want me to uh, go ahead and, and make, uh, I'll go ahead and try to do it. I had a request to make an uh, antler pipe, and I'm going to make a couple different designs. Uh, I've done before. One's going to have a, uh, a nice pipe inside the antler, so if you used it, you wouldn't taste it in the antler and it won't burn. The other one will just be kind of a country style antler pipe. And then uh, I also had somebody ask to do some carving in uh, either in the ram horn or buffalo horn. Um, and I'll go ahead and do that. So again, please make uh, comments, uh, ask questions, and let me know what you guys would like to see. And uh, I'll go ahead and post another video soon, okay? Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.